question to come here was uh, uh, to learn something about mm -hmm. uh, how the others mm -hmm. in other countries treat uh, dyslexic uh, students, adult students, because I know quite a lot about how to treat children. But uh, as I teach at university, I uh, wanted to sh uh, share my knowledge and get uh, some practical uh, examples of how to deal with dyslexic like, students from other countries. Uh, the topic was to me a very broad and uh, I just didn't, didn't realize before coming here uh, what other aspects can be included in uh, illiteracy, adult illiteracy. Just thinking about education across Europe and through learning about the Erasmus programs and things that makes it all seem much more connected. So I'll definitely be thinking in a different way about the possibilities of where I can work. And I now know about you know, different opportunities, how I can work and who with. So that's been excellent. I'm yeah, very happy to have completed the workshop interested to to partake in more Grundvig workshops. Yeah, to learn more about Erasmus and Grundvig projects was very interesting. That was all new to me. There's an adult learning in Scotland 2020, which has targets to meet by 2020, which are quite similar to the European Union's targets. Uh, so community learning is a big thing there. There's lots and lots and lots of different projects. Adult learning in Scotland is mainly based around the individual. So it's, it's lifelong, it's life-wide, and it's based around each learner. So it's for their entire lives. They're supposed to learn for their entire lives, like everyone does. Um, all across their lives, so personal life, social life, work life. Um, it's, it's really highly democratic, political, and uh, everybody can provide a proper education and got graduation and then uh, many opportunities to, to get a good career in the future. And there is also a lot of options, as Maria said, that uh, sponsored by European Union as a program. But uh, we have also a special initiative uh, sponsored by uh, private sector and uh, developed by uh, people, for example. We have illiteracy is not a thing that is common in the children. It is maybe very low, it is 1%. I don't know. Uh, you study either bachelor, uh, the bachelor's and master's. Yeah? The bachelor's is a three-year course, most uh, often. And you can uh, study it for three for five years. If you don't manage, you have to pay. The overall night education, I would say, which is, this is what's called the lifelong mm -hmm. kind of learning for society. Everybody can go. I think from 15, 16, you can go up until 99, if you, la if you like. And there they do from psychology sort of classes to maths, computers, cooking, car mechanics, gardening, uh, decorating houses, building, um, drawing. Can come to us to finish the uh, four years to get a job, meanwhile, with our certificate. And uh, after that, they have to uh, attend two years, only two years. Uh, to get uh, 11th and 12th day. Uh, let's say in, in this way. In our second chance, uh, 10 years means six years. idea about uh, reading, writing, or the basic. Uh, the basic. Uh, and they came here and uh, uh, take the first grade. Uh, what, why do we have a lot of people who come to us, 1600 and uh, only 200 finished? Because uh, 
they come, they uh, finish the first four uh, years, and, and uh, they don't come to register uh, for the second year. The sharing of uh, what's uh, been done in each country, the, the methods and the attitudes in each country and the possible solutions each country found and the, work, the group work, working in the small groups to develop knowledge and, and then sharing, presenting instead of uh, looking at what's happening in our life the difficulties and the literacy, why we're having all these problems. Maybe we could look at what could make things, people more literate and look at the solutions, look at what people need, what people consider literacy, because people will consider literacy in, in many, many different ways. The ambassador was right this morning at the debate that uh, the functional literacy. In life, we get a chance every single day, every single moment to learn and develop. And we can do the best of it. So what's the best we can do for each one of us for tomorrow and the next week? And for me, literacy is a huge challenge for our time because uh, because of that, that we have completely different time of types of communication, like uh, for the technology, for the new media, for the social media, for the... Stuff. For me, this project uh, is very useful uh, in Europe, because uh, I think this kind of uh, topics, this kind of orientation is uh, really important for our culture as a European heritage and uh, keep the attention to the literacy, to the, our cultural heritage is really significant for our development, for our uh, humanity as well. And, uh, for me the uh, most interesting was uh, to have opportunity uh, to know how uh, other literacy topic looks uh, in other countries, in different countries. Maybe you, you want to, to draw things rather than write or combine the two. Did it happen in my life? Oh. Was involved? in the story and in my experience. Can you give us some about these items? Yes. 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 Dyslexic and learners because they are touching their own pictures or their own ways of, of recognition for it. Um, depending on what we're doing, I mean, it can be related then to go to a debriefing to discussions on uh, development issues, uh, starting from personal, social, and uh, global issues. So, and you get it like adults um, as well as children like to play it. It's uh, very popular and uh, it's professionally done. You can get any topic you can fast slow or help find those who are fast. And then uh, the next step is <coughs> someone reads it for everyone to check. And then we use only the first part. We see this part and try to uh, logically complete the uh, talk. Important areas to teach when you're learning your language. But yes, pronunciation, vocabulary, and grammar. What I'm going to teach you is a method of checking understanding. Teaching literacy, alphabet, A, B, C, plus, L, L. It is L. I guess I will teach 
çizsin. Masanın üstüne çizsin. Thank you. 